Hi everyone, I'm Charlie. I'm Christine. And, and we, we eat, eat stuff. stuff. Today we're going to check out Isis Plain Fancy and their wonderful nitro ice creams. It may be 20 degrees outside right now, but it's always the perfect time for ice cream. Let's check them out. Hi, how are you guys How's doing? How's it going? My name is Darla Kraska. I'm one of the co-owners of Ice Plain and Fancy. I've been in the service industry for a very, very long time. Okay. So there's my training on that score. My brother's been a chef for a very long time. He's actually in Paris trained. And, and so we've had the experience between us. We open on National Ice Cream Day at the end of July. We make our ice cream ahead of time. Like we'll get all the bases together, the custard together. If it's chocolate, it depends on, like a lot of them it will be a vanilla with additions. Some of them are their own separate thing. Get that all together, we put it in the KitchenAid, we add a little liquid nitrogen and we flash turn it wrap. It freezes so fast, the ice crystals stay really small, so it's a real silky dense ice cream and it still takes about a minute, minute and a half. The process was invented by Agnes Marshall in 1901. She was the first person to ever talk about it. It's been around for a really long time. There just isn't one in St. Louis, and we thought it would be a lot of fun, saw the hold, took the opportunity. She nitro is ice. the patron saint of nitro ice. They called her the queen of ices in London when she was most active. Max, it's, it's all Max's recipes. Yeah, your brother? Yeah, my brother's the okay. chef. He comes up with everything, I run it. So basically we have an operations side, which is me, and then the, the culinary creative side, which is him. I wish he could have been here today. Our fourth partner is Troy Kaprowski. He was the director of communications at Slackley, and now he's the director of the St. Louis Brewers Guild. So he's really into social media marketing, that sort of thing. And then our fourth partner, Matt Deutschman, is a graphic designer. So we got a whole bunch of, of talent in-house, which is really cool. We all feel, the four of us, feel very strongly about small business and very strongly about St. Louis. And so nothing is better than working with other small businesses in St. Louis and other people especially who are doing fun stuff. And there's so many people doing so many awesome things right now that it's like, what are we gonna do this time? What are we gonna, who are we gonna work with next? Like, let's do something fun. We work a lot with Shark Farms and Double Star Farms and well, they'll just kind of like, hey, we've got really great persimmons this week. You want some? Yes. So a lot of it is, is off the cuff like that. People have been amazing. Our neighborhood's been amazing. It's, everyone has been so supportive. We're really thrilled. Like, it brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> People are out there waiting half an hour in line for ice cream and the line's all the way down the street. They're like, oh my gosh, you guys, they really like us. <laughs> it's been awesome. It's been so cool. s'mores. It's awesome. We toast marshmallows. We make the ice cream base out of toasted marshmallows. Throw in more marshmallows. Our homemade hot fudge, graham cracker squares, Hershey squares, and they're specifically Hershey. We do try to stay local as much as we can, but for nostalgia factor. We also try not to take ourselves too seriously. And you know, when you're a kid, you make, you make s'mores with Hershey. But it's also missing the campfire taste. You make them on a campfire. So the way that we rectify it is that we smoke it. <laughs> we use a smoking gun, a little hickory smoke. It sucks into the graham crackers and then it's like you just came from out of the bonfire with your little s'mores. Hey, thanks for watching our first episode of We Eat Stuff in the Kitchen. Please visit Isis Plain and Fancy in the historic Shaw neighborhood in St. Louis City.